on going. Oh, let me make sure I got my HDR set up properly and shit. That way I don't get fucked. Flashbang. Back shots. Back shots. Okay, my HDR is good. Let me see. Current video output signal. HDR 4K 60 FPS. Back shots. Back shots. All right, it's 12, chat. It's time. Let's log in. Let's log in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. We are here with FF7 Rebirth. It is time to lock in Final Fantasy VII, one of my favorite RPGs of all time. FF7 Remake is definitely up there. I love Crisis Core as well. At the end of FF7 Remake, I was like, hold on, let him cook. Okay, because I loved FF7 Remake, but it's one of those things where I was like, I got to see how y'all going to cook from here because they left a lot of things open. And as a fan of the original, I was like, what are y'all doing? Like, what, are, what is blood cooking? So we're going to finally see. It's been a long wait. We're going to see what they're finally cooking. What they're finally cooking. Let me go ahead and make sure I got all my settings Gucci. I like to have the max uh, camera distance. Out there, type B, type B. You feel it on shame, baby girl? Let me hit up the graphics. Okay, so I'm gonna, when I get into the game, I'm gonna pause and do something on stream real quick where I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be playing this game on performance mode or graphics mode. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I've heard mixed things about the performance mode in this game. So I'm not sure what is that, what that's gonna be about. You don't get a lot of, uh, you don't get a lot of HDR uh, uh, settings there. And then make sure I have subtitles on, and then from there we'll be good. Controller speaker, we're just gonna go standard speakers, so that way you guys can hear as well. Uh, and we do have subtitles. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's lock in. Um, what the fuck is this? Confirm whether or not any save data on your PS5. Uh, check. What, what, what is this for? Oh, this is for the Rebirth demo, FF7 remake. Oh, okay. So I got Leviathan and Rama summons. Cool. Uh, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna go normal mode and we're going to do active. Okay, let's lock in, boys. I'm very excited. Bro, P3R FF7. Oops. It's about to be a good year, boys. Okay, I like this little remix, a little cream mix. I'm waiting, clown. Oh, I can see the hairs on his nosy wozy. Wait a minute. Let me see that I'm nose, Sephiroth. Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. We've all been there. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the... Yeah, the resolution is really low on performance mode. I can already tell. ...destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement... Declaring the tornado to be weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Okay. I like this intro a lot already. I did not get to play the demo, by the way, so I don't know if the demo covered this already. But yeah, I was uh, not tapped into the demo, I fear. I wanted to save everything for this game, man. Oh, shit. Down with Shinra! I'm so glad this game isn't political. Ah, ga, 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 I'll make it answer fast. This wasn't in the demo, gotcha. So, I, yeah, I have no idea what the demo covered. I guess we'll find out, boy. <gasps> the song chat!
Oh my god! Wait a minute, what the fuck is going on? Wow, this looks gorgeous. Holy moly. Wow, that looks beautiful. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah, I might have to play on graphics mode. The resolution is really low. Of course, this is oh, this is a lot better now. Wait, we're just starting off with Zach. Wow, we're just starting off like this. Oh my god. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. What? Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier right. Ex soldier armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex soldier armed with a buster sword. Huh? They talking about my goat? Back over here. You got board. <gasps> Barrett! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Tifa as well. Quick, get the camera off. By the way, I've also been avoiding like every rebirth trailer. Come on. So there might be things that were in trailers that I didn't even see. Red! Aerith too? What is going on? So the wisps was tweaking and now we got Zack here, the whole party is knocked out. He ended up surviving. He brought Cloud into... There's Mommy for some reason. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Sure. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. W Mako poisoning. Okay, well... I have a feeling we're gonna be like, what the fuck for a long time during this game. Is that our cloud or crisis core cloud? I'm, that's crisis core cloud for sure. Oh, red 13 is tweaking. Oh my God, we're playing as Zach. Oh my God, we're playing as Zach. No fucking way. I'm about to, I'm about to cream. I'm gonna cream. This game is mad dark. Jesus Christ. Okay, I can't swing my sword yet, it looks like. I'm trying to hit these boxes. Okay. I wonder how long we get to play as Zack for. Oh my lord. I run! Okay, you got a little RoboCop here. Oh my god. Get away from her! He's got a buster sword! Call me a tip. I love how he fights differently. Oh wait a minute! Oh he's cool! Oh he's cool! Mink? Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Wait, he feels so much more agile than uh, Cloud. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? It's like that? This ain't gonna happen like Crisis Core, bitch. Y'all not getting me. Wait, his combat is actually so gas. What the? You can tell Zach has actual training, right? 
Imagine he just like survives just to die right here anyways. And that's all we see of Zack for the whole game. Get the doggy. What the dog doing? You're really going to leave him behind? Not saving the dog, kind of cringe. This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Wait, so is this how she would have died in the Crisis Core timeline had Zack lived? Is that what they're setting up for here? I think that's what they're trying to say here. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that's 100% the Crisis Core timeline. And I'm assuming right. if Zack had lived, Same that's how Aerith would have died. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. But Tifa was there and that doesn't make sense. It all started Fair. five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And what little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then... Out of nowhere. This is the demo like part. Okay, gotcha. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. Chapter one, Fall of a Hero. So many questions in that intro, by the way. Down, huh? Like, what the hell? Hey, man. Feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but now right. motion sink. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah. W yeah. schizo, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how much I can talk about because I don't know what's gonna be spoilers or not. Because obviously I've played OG FF7, so I don't know, like, you know, I don't know what I can say. This is, oh my God. Hey, <laughs> rein it in. <laughs> this is like, no oh kids, my dude. God. Kids. So without spoiling, this exact scene did so, happen in OG FF7, like but not quite in this same way. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. I say fuck really? it, talk about anything already spoiled in FF7. Finally make first, what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wutai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. Oh my god, it's I line for line. To be a hero, like it's bar for bar. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. This is actually crazy. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12. Let's go. So for the uninitiated, should I just, cause I have to spoil like a major twist in OG FF7. It's a, oh damn, the motherfuckers are ugly. If he plays like him too, let me one. see. Hold one. on. I wonder if they're gonna do that.
Yeah, I like how the voice actor also changed how he voices Cloud. They got me playing at Sephiroth? Oh, fuck no. Wait a fucking minute. Wait, can I do that again? I want to explain why I'm losing my mind over this scene, but I, would, I don't want to do it from the rest of us. while there's a cutscene playing. Like, I need to have some, you know what I'm saying? There needs to be a reprieve before I do that. Calm, present day. Are we going to be jumping back and forth? That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. Mm. Dude, the music, it's so cinematic. Nibelheim evening. Oh my lord. Home sweet home, right? Tell me. I even like like Cloud like? looks like much younger I too. No home, so I wouldn't know. Uh um trauma to me. You still got parents though, right? You're being weird. <laughs> A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. He doesn't know yet, Pepe left. My father. Oh, there. Denova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna see Tifa now. Hope I, I lied. <laughs> I saw the booth. I thought it was Tifa running up. Here. But I we will be seeing Tifa, myself. I think. Anyways. Welcome you to our humble little town. Please, <laughs> I got debated. You're looking back Consider for yourself off duty till sundown. Right. Okay, so the reason this is crazy is because um, the reason this is crazy is because in the OG F oh, what the fuck? A new pause menu? Press square to open up photo mode. Oh, fuck. In the original uh, FF7, what like the big twist in that game is that Cloud, like his whole past, it was not really his past. <laughs> like his whole past was Zach's past actually so all that stuff that Cloud was doing in the beginning that was actually Zach in the OG FF7 doing that and it was like line for line like Cloud saying and doing it which is like just kind of insane because like in the OG game it was like legit bar for bar it was it was Zach doing all that stuff so the fact that they like tied that in I thought was just a really nice touch Damn, this game looks so soft in uh, performance mode. But yeah, I'll leave it like this for now. We'll see how I end up wanting to uh, play it later. So yeah, like absolutely crazy. And then also when when Cloud was talking to the one dude who was like looking depressed and slumped out, that was actually Cloud. Like Cloud was there for all this, which is why he recalls it. But he was like pretty much like just a random soldier at the time. He was not soldier first class he was just like some some random dude in the helmet type 
So all this that's happening right now, like, this is actually Zach doing this. Which is very cool in my opinion. Is that you, Cloud? Oh, hey. Press touchpad to view your current position on the map of an area or to check your progress in the story. Can only what Man, I might be tripping, but I think the HDR looked better in the first game. I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't really look that good in this game. I might play without HDR. Hmm. Hmm. A soldier. So Cloud is schizo, basically? Yeah, pretty much. Richard Sanga, the humble traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Um, you're being weird. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. His voice sounds really familiar. Who asked you? Is it Mako or Mako? Mako. You could learn a lot from me. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Oh my god, Tifa! Oh, is this Sojiro? A real I see it. That one. She'll go far. Yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. Nice. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Yeah, that definitely is Sojiro. Holy fuck, you can hear it. Okay. Dude, this like... I don't even think the HDR is like working. Hold on, give me un segundo. Chat, I think I'm gonna just turn off the HDR for the YouTubers, bro. Oh shit, I'm level 40, it says here. Oh, let me save real quick. I'm sorry to break your immersion, but this is really bothering me, I fear. Graphics mode in this game might be nice. I might have to switch to it. The HDR looks fucking terrible here. Like the HDR actually just looks really bad. I think I might have to restart my game to make the HDR like turn off. Maybe, I don't fucking know. I think it should be off. Hold on. Let me let me just make sure it's actually set. I paused my uh, recording so YouTube don't gotta watch this, but you guys do. Yeah, man, I don't know the 30 FPS. The the, the thing about uh, FF16 is that the performance mode was barely 60, anyways. Whereas at least this actually is 60. It just looks really soft. Let me make sure I got everything looking as good as possible here. Yeah, I don't know. I might just play this in graphics mode. I think it just might look better. Let me see. Cloud's face looks a little, a little weird to me. He looks a lot younger. Oh my God, the performance mode is so low res. You guys probably can't tell that much on stream, but my God, it's so low res. This is nuts. I'm gonna play in graphics mode, I think, for this game. Okay, and I'm back, sorry about that. I decided to turn off HDR and play on the quality mode because the performance mode looks really, really fuzzy in this game. 
I'm gonna hope for like an update or something at some point, but yeah, it's looking, it was looking real, real rough. Um, so yeah, playing on quality mode. Uh, I think quality mode is still not 4K, but you know, it is what it is. For a game like this, I think I wanna, I wanna experience the visuals. And I played FF16 in quality mode as well, and it wasn't that bad. I don't know, nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. It takes some time to get used to the 30 FPS, but it is what it is. But if you guys are watching on YouTube and you prefer the smoother 60 FPS uh, video recording, then uh, I don't mind playing in 60 either. It says up to, up to y'all at that point. I don't really mind either way. Yeah, I think FF16 took me like six to 10 minutes to get over the 30 FPS thing. And I played most of that game in 30. The game just looks so much better in uh, quality mode. This is another negative about me turning into a console gamer. I mean, for this game, it wouldn't have mattered anyways because I have to play it on PlayStation. But I'm usually a PC gamer, so I usually play stuff in like 1440p, 144 FPS. But like I said, I think you get used to it. Huh? You went to my place? Yeah. Am I, I, am I weird? If you're playing the game, it's already in quality mode. That's kind of a bar. Also, somebody mentioned that Cloud looks a little odd. And I think the reason why is because they aged him down, I think, for this for this uh for this flashback. Like he looks a lot younger to me in the face. I think that's might be why you think he looks a little odd. I will say though, the art direction looks the game looks good Remember artistically. Her, her name was Fluffy, I think. I'm definitely yeah. stepping all over Fluffy's food right she now. She's always disappearing. And that day was no different. Trying to get me a Buster Sword IRL. Now, you know what's going to be crazy, though? Uh, supposedly, this game might be getting released on PC a lot sooner than we thought. Like, I'm talking like before the end of this year, even. Playing this shit on PC at high FPS is going to be crazy. That's what the streets are saying. Minimum three months, so it's going to be whenever they feel like uh, porting it. Which, you know, knowing uh, Square Enix, who knows when that's going to be. You went into my room? Um, um, Cloud, you're being kind of weird. You went through my stuff? Um, no, I was making a joke. If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Um, yeah, me neither. Wait, Come on, wait, uh, this was Zach I doing it, not me. This. I trolled you. Haha, <laughs> it was Zach. You're being a fool. Okay, inspect pianos you encounter to start tickling the ivories and perform pieces using sheet music you've acquired. Oh, nice. Did you actually play it? Uh, I went to town on it, actually. All right, chat, let's go. Do I actually get to play the piano? Oh. What? Wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I gotta find the chord. Um. Wait, this is cool. I'm going insane! Ah! Is this what goes on in your brain? Yes. I think you need to go down another. Yeah, it's, it's like this. It goes. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> Ws. Uh, can I get off? 
All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You know, I just didn't want to get copyrighted by YouTube. You feel me? That's all you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Runaway sounds a little different. Runaway if you drew it from memory type shit. Wow. Where'd you learn to do that? I know that was so you good, right? For us yeah, I got y'all. Hey. Oh, shit. Yeah, yo, I, I don't want to brag and nothing like that. I don't want to brag and nothing like that. I don't want to brag and nothing like that. Um, I think they're going insane, boys. Now, what's over here? Then I stopped by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Not them gassing yeah. it? Maybe I played really well. Maybe I had a whole lot of heart. Ever think of that? I, at least I tried. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. I'll be right there. <clears throat> Cloud and Claudia, really. Hold on now. Cloud, is that Wait you? a minute. I don't want to alarm anybody, but Welcome wow, Cloud's in. face looked really nice there. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. Dad oh, named Claude. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. Hey, you freak, boy. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. The funniest part is that this is all Cloud's head cannon right now. I could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. I don't think this is Zach talking to Claudia because there would be no way for Cloud to have knowledge of that. I think he's literally just schizo. I really fucking ran over that stool. Cloud actually talked to her, or that. That's also a possibility. Why is my, I feel like my camera sensitivity is so fast. He's also in the town, so it's possible he went on his own. That's fair, that's true. I think I just go in here. Hey everybody. Yo, Sephiroth got meat rider. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, when the light beams in through the windows here, it looks so gorgeous. Yes, Zack was on the trip to Nibelheim. All of the heroic stuff that happened at Nibelheim, or pff, heroic in quotes, uh, that was all Zack, not Cloud. Already gone upstairs. Oh, this is the voice clip. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. That's the voice clip everybody was saying was AI. It definitely does not sound great. <laughs> We're all to have you. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. Man, the lighting is beautiful at? in this game. Like, wow. This landscape. No, remake uh, did happen. It's all the stuff in Cloud's past. I could swear I've seen it before. That cloud didn't actually experience. You okay? Big day tomorrow. All of his soldier memories are actually Zach's right for now. the most part. Because he was never soldier type shit. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Oh my God, Sephiroth said night. I 
tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Red looks so cool. It's pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. Fuck red. Oh my bad. Tifa went listening to Cloud Story. Right. Tifa's like, huh, is that how that went? Right. That's just another thing about what makes Tifa's character so good. We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad! And there she is. You can Teenager Tifa. Down. You don't have to do this. I'm going and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Same shit. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. The song is fire. You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. Um, can you guys raise the voices a couple decibels, please? For a posterity, sir? Not today. Imagine if you just went full yay and casted Meteor on Nibelheim because because they took a picture of him. To us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Nah, Tifa's real because Tifa's gonna see you going through a hey, mental geez. breakdown. Sounds like you were having a good time. And like a schizophrenic crisis type yeah. shit, and then let you work that shit out. Guess we were Later. for a while. Tifa gonna be like, he gonna he, he gonna find out one day. <laughs> the reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Okay, hold R2 or press L3 to sprint until you stop moving. While running, you will automatically perform terrain actions. Press square to use your weapon and attack. Nice. Okay, hold on. I think my sensitivity is going absolutely nuts. Um, options, camera, responsiveness. I think that's I think that's the setting for it. That shit is whipping, boy. Okay, this is oh, this is much better. Holy shit! Wow, the foliage and shit looks really good here. I wish I could play it in 60 FPS. Wait, is one of you Cloud? I know one of you is Cloud, boy. I'm sorry, uh, not Cloud. <laughs> Random blonde guy. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Oh, Sephiroth. Everyone, eventually. I'm yeah, actually surprised so many people haven't played OG. Like I'm not surprised. Guys. Wow. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Dude, the music is so good. This feels so epic. Like, you feel me? Like, it feels so cinematic. Like, wow, I'm like so impressed. The scale looks amazing too. Like, I feel like FF7 Remake felt much more like linear and obviously this is still linear, but it feels, it like tricks you into thinking it's not as linear. Just trying to pace ourselves is all. I actually am trying to pace yeah, myself. This looks amazing. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> yes, you really I mean, the OG FF7 has been available to play on everything, but I think like it like looks too dated for a lot of people to play. But I think if you do play it, it's really not that dated. The most dated thing about it is that sometimes what they want you to do is a little like like it might not be super obvious, so you might get lost. 
But other than that, I think the game is very perfectly playable. Do I fight this thing? I think the art style is amazing. I agree. I cried during Red 13's backstory like thing. And, they're not nice. and it was just some what Roblox characters moving around. <laughs> and it got me. I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. How long is OG FF7? Uh, when I played it, I played the Switch version that has um, like the speed up and the no random encounters. So I think I beat it in like 25. All right. Whoops. Oh, I thought they were gonna have me play like uh, and have like Zach gameplay. Wait, what is going on? Do I have anything here? I got Braver and Triple Slash. You can just blitz the story like that. You're done. Um, if you have like the speed up and the no random encounters thing, then yeah. If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I played it on the Switch, and you got like a lot of um quality of life improvements. But then I also played with like a guide on another monitor just in case I got lost. I would at least know where to go. Once enemies or enemies will grow alerted to your presence as you approach. Once the gauge fills up, combat will ensue. Press square before it fills to get the jump on your foes or retreat to avoid a fight. If you land the first strike, your ATB gauge. Oh wait, this is new, right? I don't think that I don't think that was in remake. That's interesting. Okay, I like that though. Well, that's that. Add some variability to the uh Add some variability to uh the combat. Speaking of the combat, now that we've seen the combat in motion. Would you guys rather me turn on the 60 FPS mode or are you guys liking the 30 yeah, FPS okay. mode? Whoa. I'm imagining you won't be able to tell that much of a difference between the resolution, whereas you might be able to tell more of a difference with the uh, frame rates. Ha. Damn! It's like that? <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Okay, R1 to block incoming attacks or press O to move out of harm's way. Oh, fuck. Can you come back, please? You're being weird. Okay, what if I did focus thrust? I hit him with a braver. Nick! That one felt pretty good. They fixed aerial combat and integrate actually, code. Aerial combat's a lot better in this game. Take it away. Oh fuck you. Like, the game looks so much better in the uh, performance mode or in the quality mode, bitch. But man, I do kind of wish I was playing in 60 FPS right now. Uh, this one increases stagger. We're going to go ahead and stagger him. Let's finish this. I like the, uh, the combat feels like, even though it's like clearly the same combat, it still feels different. This game about loud as shit, boy. Yeah, I can lower the gameplay volume to have the voices up. Thank you. 
I haven't really fought aerial enemies that much. Right, can it, will it let me do it in the game or? Nah, I gotta wait until I'm out of combat. Oh, you can use triple slash while airborne. Oh, did I not dodge that? Fuck. Wait, how come I'm not hitting him up in the air? What the fuck just happened? Um, right. I can't, I can't fucking hit him. You're being a bad kin. You're done. We still have a long way to go. I'm glad you're just watching Seth. Let place? me play as Sephiroth, not please. We absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? Oh, okay. I'll be careful. W squats. You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Materia can be set into most weapons and equipment via the Materia and Equipment menu. Nice. All right, so we can now give ourselves some Materia. Okay, we have healing, fire, ice, and we got a lot. Well, I guess not really. I guess the only other one I would have is assess. Okay, uh, let me go into system and go into audio. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better. So that way we can hear the beautiful voice acting in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Cloud moves more slowly. Yeah, we know about this. Nah, this is... Whoa, that's really fucking cool. You're done. Uh, let's use triple slash. Well, that's that. Hooray! Man, this game feels so good in the hands. Have y'all played the demo to this game yet or anything? Because I know you guys have probably already played this part if you played the demo. But this feels really good. Uh, I can't. I can't. Oh, wait. Don't I have fucking magic now? Bitch. See ya. W block. Let's finish this. That was gas. Gotcha. This is like an unlimited combo. You're done. Nah, that is so fucking cool. Oh my god. You know, this game really makes me feel like uh, Cloud Strife type shit. Okay, we got a chest. Obtain two mixed high potions. Thinking back, I didn't play the 16 demo either. I was not excited for Final Fantasy 16 at all until I played that demo. That demo is what made me sold on that game and why I ended up getting really excited for it. Oh shit! My bad. It's a dead end. Thanks. I took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? My fault. Okay. Can you dodge in the air? I haven't even gotten into the air yet. Okay. I'ma just squeeze on by right here, if and you don't mind. Praying to God they give another FF remake. 
this treatment. I feel like 10 or 5 need... 10 definitely does not need this. I feel like you got to go back and do, like, the stuff like 6, 4, 5. Gotta make a detour through a maybe stuff like 8 and 9. I I made you our guide. From 10 and above, I think they're perfectly playable the way they are. Straight off a cliff. Lead on. I mean, making FF10 look like this would obviously be amazing. You know, I would not say no to that. I'm not insane, but like, I think that that game is pretty, is pretty much fine. Hey man, if Square Enix could remember that Chrono Trigger exists and start milking that franchise, I will let them milk me, I fear. <laughs> if they want to milk Chrono Trigger, I am there. Oh man, it looks crazy in here. Is this a materia? We got a level boost materia. All right. Um, Sephiroth, you look really pretty today. I must say. Excuse me. Oh, do I see a robot back there? Oh, hello. Not a robot. Oh, uh, whatever that thing is, a screamer. A <laughs> screamer, it's not like my ex. I said, for my ex. Okay, what if I did? You look like you're weak to fire. I'm so intelligent. Oh, the juggles. And then if I go for braver. Yeah, this is the best game I've ever played in my miserable say, life. That one felt pretty good. Okay. Make sure I'm not missing none. The reactor may have been around for a while, but there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Okay. Yeah, don't want to get Mako poisoning. No, who wants that? Now, where the fuck am I bringing this? Okay, let's see. What is this? Use the purifier connected to this Mako processing unit. I'm supposed to purify some shit? Watch out. Excuse me. Okay, I can't push it anymore. I gotta pull it. Oh, here we go. Also, gas levels reduced by 20%. Motherfucker, is this a vacuum? Okay. Vacuum simulator. Now we're gaming. I guess this really was our final fantasy. Seven rebirth. Systems nominal. Elevator in operation. Nah, honestly, we've all been where Cloud's been. You know, you got some bad bitches around. You got to start telling lies to make yourself seem cool and shit like that. We've literally all been here. Every single one of us. Excuse me. Come 
Okay. Let's move on forward. What a terrible day for rain. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. Um, yo, chat, real spit. Are y'all crossing this bridge? Oh, hell nah. A fat ass like me, this whole bridge coming down, boy. Nah. What donkey say? Just move forward and don't look down. Just move forward and looking down. Ah! Shrek! I'm looking down! Oh shit, wait! I was joking! Fuck! Tifa! Are you okay? Not really! Uh oh. Hello? Why doesn't he just cast Graviga? Is he stupid? That's fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Imagine being that guy. I'm like Sephiroth. I know you got the gravity spell equipped, my nigga. You couldn't help me out there. He's in Fate's hands now. That's nasty. <laughs> He's in Fate's hands now, really? That's what you, you meant that? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sephiroth is so fucking cool. Oh my god. He's so hot Sorry, too. I I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. <gasps> Wait! For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Yes, Daddy. Sephiroth joined the party. Oh, yeah. Approach a scalable wall. Oh, this, I saw people complaining about this. Oh my God, they're yellow paint. It do look out of place. A bench. Uh, can I have this please? An HP up materia. No, Cloud is the soldier that's with them right now. That's how he knows about all this stuff happening. Because this this is Cloud right here. Off you go. Okay. Switching different characters. Say that. Press square to slash with Masumune or hold to release a ranged attack. Landing a certain number of attacks will allow you to perform branching finishers like pierce or swords dance with triangle filling your limit gauge press r1 to enter retaliation stance while in this stance press square at the right time to parry an incoming attack oh my god oh my um can i stay in the demo area forever please He's really cool to play as. Sephiroth is the current party leader, meaning you will control him at the start of combat. Um, yes, I would like it that way. I, w 
I do wish that whoever was the party leader is the character you also walked around as. More Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. All right, pull up. Just have to get through. Let's not waste any time. Uh, what's Mako this? Dual dangerous. blade stance. What the fuck is this? All right. Okay. Um, I really like playing as Sephiroth, everyone. What's this? An orb of empowerment materia. Okay, we can sneak our way back here. Hello, everybody. Wait, is this where I came from? Um, yes, it is. All right, let's move on our way down. It's really crazy how like humanity snapped when they made the sword, which is like literally the coolest weapon of all time. A Mako spring. It's beautiful. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? Oh my god, it's a commentary on the environment, about? everybody. Holy that. shit. My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? <laughs> <laughs> the shrug. <laughs> to put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use <laughs> Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. Wait. It's an affront to science. I think I know who he's talking about. Hojo. From research oh, and development. I thought they were just going to allude to it. They just said it. His predecessor was a great man, but him. He is anything but. We should press on. He did not say Gojo. You JJK coded brain motherfuckers grow up. Oh shit, he fucking me. Wait, I'm gonna fuck. I wanna try to use this. Come on. What's this? Oh my god! Oh shit, look at all this he has. He has Cure, Arrow, Thunder. Oh, he has Faraga, Blizzaga, Thundaga. It, oh my Lanza. Yep. Hell's Gate. Hey everyone. Piece of cake. Yeah. Uh, someone called me Sephiroth. Omega Pro, you look just like Sephiroth. I mean, a damn near spitting image. The only difference that you have beautiful peanut butter complexion to your skin tone. Oh, shit. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. What a nice comment to just randomly get while I'm streaming FF7 Rebirth. That was so nice. Bring it on. 
That's enough to stop Sephiroth, are you dead ass? Um, he got me again. <laughs> you and Cloud had the same journey. No way. That's just how we get it done around here, boys. <laughs> I'm not like Cloud. I'm not the Lulu. Wait, I got to do something really quick. Chat, look behind you, back shots. 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 Okay. This gives it a lot more contrast. Um, is it too dark now? It might be too dark now. These back shots hit him. Um, right. Man, I'm playing Uncharted now. Heads up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use Thunder on this thing. Bitch. Watch and learn. Let's hurry. I am a very big fan of Sephiroth. I am the one don't need a ton to weigh a ton. Don't need a gun to weigh a ton. I'm fat as fuck. My bad. <clears throat> Climbing on 30 FPS, truly next gen gaming. I hope the PS5 Pro is real. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, there's a secret down here. I just can't believe that like we're already hitting the limits of the P PS5. Like, that doesn't seem real to me. Hold on, maybe I'm capping. Maybe I'm, may, may, maybe, hold on, maybe I'm capping. Maybe the graphics mode or the performance mode don't look that bad. Okay, I paused the recording. Let me see. Uh, chat, how we feeling? I changed it to before. It does look so soft. Okay, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play in performance mode for a bit, and then I'll let y'all decide. Oh my god, the the textures on the wall just completely disappeared. But for you guys on stream, it might not make that much of a difference. The YouTube, the YouTube crowd might notice more of a difference because it's gonna be in higher quality over there. But for the stream, it might not look that different. Damn, it's just... Wow, I hope they patch this. This is, like, bad. While guarding with R1, you can team up with allies to perform a variety of synergy skills, useful abilities that do not consume ATB charges. Uh, the available skills differ depending on which character is being actively controlled. Okay. Team up with your partner to unleash up to three consecutive close-range physical attacks. All right, steady. Okay, inflicting enough damage or exploiting weak. Okay, it's just explaining the pressure system. Oh, I like teleported up there to him. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is gas. I can tell the frame difference. I feel the graphics mode is just better. Even on stream, you think it's better? That's actually kind of crazy. If you can tell the difference on stream. Yeah, like the textures are definitely way lower quality on the performance mode, but I don't think you guys will be able to tell all that much. 
And the resolution is also really, I wonder, I should watch the Digital Foundry video to see what the resolution actually is at. Cause it feels like it's really low. Now the fact that when you dash Sephiroth like does that little teleport, that's so gas. The 60 is so smooth. It is, the gameplay does feel good in 60. I don't know, man. If you're watching on YouTube still an hour into this video, let me know which one you guys prefer. It looks like my Twitch chat, I think most of them seem to prefer the quality, but I wonder what the YouTube guys are gonna say. Whoops, can I pick this up, please? What up, Vash, how you doing, bro? I heard it can vary resolutions based on how detailed the environment is. That makes sense, because sometimes it doesn't look that bad. I wonder how most people are gonna be playing this, if they're gonna be playing in performance mode or what. It's crazy how you got like platforming in this game now. It's kind of nuts. All right. All right, excuse me, I'm coming through with the vacuum. I know I can wield a 700 pound sword and slash down robots in half. But when it comes to pushing a big box, that's where I draw the line. Wait, can I? I might not even be able to bring it over there. Um, do you have any more extendo clips over here? No? Right. Ah, here we go. I'm playing in performance and it's smooth. Is anybody else playing the game at the same time as me? What did you end up choosing? I think I did see a couple people say they were gonna choose for our quality mode. Nice. Living through the streamer, hooray! I wasted my 70 so you don't have to. Um, how am I supposed to reach that in that corner over there? Yeah, I don't know why games do stuff like this. I'm not sure what the point is here. Maybe I gotta bring it all the way around over here. Cause I don't think it reaches over here. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna reach. I think I gotta bring it all the way back around. Excuse me, Cloud. I mean, whoever you are, random soldier guy. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta bring it. And it's so slow too. Put some pep in your kid. Somebody, yo, 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 Sephiroth, cast haste on me. Yo, Sephiroth. Yo, 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 Sephiroth, cast haste on me. Sephiroth. Yo, 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 Sephiroth, cast haste. I don't think Sephiroth is casting haste on me, y'all. Yo, Sephiroth, cast haste. This game should really have a 40 FPS mode. It really should. I don't want to alarm anybody, but I don't think this is working. Oh, I got it. No gas Bang. Elevator access granted. I think I played Spider-Man 2 in the 40 FPS mode. And that was like a really good balance between like having sharpness and like good quality while having a little bit of a better frame rate. Cause I think like 30 FPS is like a legitimate like health concern for people. Like some people like legit just get like motion sick when they see that shit. You have questions about this, about what, this game?
All right, let's go ahead and take a resty poo. Choo, choo, choo. Yo, chat, be real. You ever fallen? You ever uh, fallen asleep on Discord with a bad bitch? I'm not gonna lie, chat. Them the type of moments that'll fuck your life up. You start thinking back to that moment a couple years from then. Think back to when you were happier and when you thought you had her, but you never really had her, did you? She was never really yours. You guys were just enjoying a moment together, that's all. It didn't really mean anything. Because here you are without them and there they are without you. You start to wonder what was it all really for? Would you ever do it again? My bad. Yo, FF7, FF7's out, chat. Lock in. <laughs> what? Oh shit, hey. That's a freak bull. Get back. This way. You said you wanted to be a hero. I did say that shit. Wish I had. Ha, <laughs> nice. It thinks we're after materia. Someone should tell it we're not. <laughs> be my guest. Um, I'm trying to block. What the F? Okay, it's weakness is fire. Okay, you can't block that. Certain enemies have individual body parts that you can target and attack. Destroying these discrete. Oh, nice. Not doing so great. Um, Cloud? Same with a Faraga, fuck it. Damn it. Not again. Damn! On me. I have played Helldivers, yes. Done. Sephiroth. recommend hell divers if you know you have friends to play with if you're gonna be playing it by yourself i can't in good faith recommend it because i don't think it's very fun by yourself oh shit i also do have a couple hell divers videos up on my youtube channel if you want to uh, peep it out you're practically panting i'm excited yeah, lowering the music and sound effects down makes the audio mixing way fucking better. This video is also going to get uploaded tomorrow at noon. So if you end up wanting to rewatch it or if you want to go to sleep, the rest of it will be up. Okay. Turn the uh, tables on the Beast of the Mountain with a coordinated attack from Cloud and Sephiroth. Use their double helix synergy ability from the commands menu to bring the Materia Guardian crashing down to the cave floor. Unlike the looks of this. Stay alert. Follow my lead. Copy. Um. Stand what? Sephiroth. Little help? Okay. Oh, he has limit. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Yo, that was cool. 
Damn, legacy saved. Take it from here. Um, can we get a Sephiroth spin-off game? Um, I would like to play as him forever, please. Can I do a quick time event where I burn Nibelheim to the ground? Wait, spoilers, my bad. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes mm -hmm. Sephiroth. Why is Barrett so like cute? He's got really nice eyes. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil. Ever Crisis? Trying to kill everyone on the Does Ever planet? Crisis play like Help this, though? Me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Okay. Oh, you want to know something that'll make your blood boil about Sephiroth? Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> I was about to say, how much time you got, Barrett? <laughs> Sit down. Let me tell you something about this man, Sephiroth. Oh, you gonna find out today, my boy. You wait out here, Tifa. No way. I want to go too. Please. Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on. No civvies. Young lady safe. Carry on. Ah. Oh. That's not cloud, guys. That's sky. <laughs> You better keep me safe. All right. Ooh this is a really good like scene, I think, to introduce this game to. Because I feel like this is like one of the most iconic moments in like FF7. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. Like, this is a great way to have an intro, I fear. Fear? Last gen models. Are you sure? And let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Yeah, I'm in performance mode now. No, th I mean, Cloud is still here. Like, just because he's not inside this room with them doesn't mean, like, he doesn't know what happened because... I mean, what, what's Zach gonna do when he gets out of here to not say what the fuck happened? Shh. Yeah, I'm just an FPS nerd, but it looks better to me. I'll probably leave the rest of this episode in the 60, and then I'll see what the YouTube comments say when I upload tomorrow, if anybody even cares. If this shit even gets views, I should say. Symbiote? Hojo, you are really something. What are those things? God, Sephiroth is so cool, man. Genova. Wait, Genova? didn't he say that's his mom's name, everybody? What's going on here? <laughs> the malfunction must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Copy.
All right. Oorah. Yeah, pretty much what Rain said. Cloud is retelling this story to his crew in the current time as if he was Zack. But this is actually Zack doing all this. Cloud is actually outside with Tifa right now in the past. But I, that's why I didn't know if I wanted to like talk about that because I don't know if this game is going to explain that or if I just kind of like spoiled it or something. I don't know. But then again, like FF7 is like what, 20 fucking four years old or something? Maybe not quite. Here you go. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, and heroes with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. Dude, the music. Oh my god, chat. Look. Wow. My name was Genova. Could it be that I was created the same way? Am I the same as these monsters? Me when the bean kick in? Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. But not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Am I even human? W existential crisis. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. But wait, there's more. Sephiroth left the party. This is the worst day of my life. Give me liberty or give Sephiroth me death. As he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Hmm. Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Damn, Sojiro's voice is so good. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? You don't want to know, boy. <laughs> He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine.
Okay. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him Okay. The little AK seven four U action type shit. Actually, Omega, that's not an AK seven four U. Nah, they actually like stepped up the music a lot. Like one thing about this game so far, it feels very, it feels much more like cinematic. The rent on that plot was basically what like the the way that the music is organized and shit. Like it just feels like a like a film soundtrack more than a game soundtrack. You know, like it's a. I'm actually really digging this. Anyways, disregard that statement. <laughs> Imagine getting a little Mako poisoning and then all of a sudden you become a fucking fraud. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> uh, I want to explore the whole building. Man, this looks... That it's just so atmospheric, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, I can't go up there. Oh, what the fuck? I heard it was 400 new songs. Yeah, I believe it. This is not graphics mode. This is uh, performance mode. I just paused the recording. Let me show you the graphics mode, how it would look. It looks a lot sharper. But yeah, this is it in graphics mode. Yeah, I said I was gonna do the rest of the video in frame rate mode, so let me change it back. The jump from 60 to 30 is insane. Yeah. Need this on the PS5 Pro or PC? Yeah, supposedly this game could be on PC as soon as three months from now. Whether or not uh, Square Enix brings it on PC in that time frame is up to them. Never knew it, had it feels been flat been. in performance mode. I agree, it does. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. The visuals look a lot flatter in performance mode. But then you get 60 FPS and it feels so nice. Excavated from a 2000 year old rock layer. Yeah, that's valid Life alpha, I think. Stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L-77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, M-E-G-L-913. Has the remake timeline explained what ancients are yet? Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And yeah, okay. I couldn't remember. She was. So I'm trying to, like, make sure that... I'm not talking about things that are spoilers. Hey, Sephiroth, what you got there? Leave me be. So that means we obviously, the remake timeline knows that. He stayed holed up in the basement. That somebody we know is an ancient, right? Like a man possessed. You dropped the cloud bombshell already, so do spoilers matter at this point? I guess not. But I don't think that's going to be as big of a twist in the remake series. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. It feels like they're winking at it a lot. 
Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. Uh-oh. You know when this music plays and a motherfucker start reading a book, it's over. <laughs> you start laughing like that? Oh, nah. Ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in Strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative resulted in my conception dude y'all hear the rather, music my creation the crowning glory of professor gas wondrous experiment he created you wow this scene is gas oh my god the music Nah, the way his eyes was tweaking, no way. I should go. Mother is waiting. Um, who's mother? asking myself why couldn't I have come too sooner if I had maybe I could have saved the village or tried at least what Holy moly. Wow, the the lighting is crazy here. Hey, you get in there. The villagers need your help. Oh. Oh my god. He's gone. Oh my god. Mom. Oh my god. That's Cloud's mom? Is it true? Sephiroth did this? Oh, it was him, alright. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. But he why would he Oh my Lanza Golly Anybody got Kiraga? Yeah. 
Sephiroth the bad guy? Yeah, he's the main villain of the game. Um, I can't go over this. I guess not. Okay. Holy fuck. Noctis is packing up Sephiroth real talk. It's gonna be fucking hilarious when Noctis tries to throw his sword at Sephiroth and teleport to it, and then a fucking giant meteor crashes into the earth, killing him immediately. <sighs> um, what? Would you guys prefer FF16 2 or FF17? FF17. You I don't you there's no way to make a sequel for 16. Please. Please be okay. Sefa. I'm not going to lie. Sora's watching the entire Final Fantasy verse. Them niggas can't even deal with the Simba summon. <laughs> Did we beat Sora? No, my boy, that was just Tinkerbell. <laughs> like, <laughs> Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. Damn. Hey, hey. Hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry. I got you. Come on. Let's get you up. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, this scene is crazy. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. This game definitely has taken cues from Western games. Like Last of Us and like Uncharted and shit. Except this game is actually good, so it's fire. Oh my God. Holy fuck. This is like the best rendition of this scene we've ever gotten. Like this just shows. Oh my Lord. My God. That's like when AI stepped over Ty Lu. I'm coming. Sephiroth. 
Me personally, I'm letting him do whatever he wants. I'm not gonna try to stop him. <laughs> Maybe I'm different, chat. I don't know. The fuck you want me to do? Oh yeah, iconic. Oh yeah. Oh my, dude, wow, this looks so amazing. Oh my God. Yeah, that was cinema. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Did you? Dad and I had gone there to hide. The demo ended there? Oh, really? So this is all new? Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> Uh oh. Mother, I have come for you. Now open the way for me. My dad. I'm not gonna lie, the fact that Sephiroth is insane oh makes him even hotter. Thoughts? Yo, crazy thing for the 75 months, gang. 75 months is nasty work. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, this is when I knew Sephiroth was the worst human being alive. Clive transforming into Ifrit after this is happening and nuking the entire city. You promised you'd save me if I was ever trapped or in trouble. It had to be the most powerful motherfucker of all time. <laughs> Mother, they have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. Oh, yeah, he's insane. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever.
Hey, yo, chat. Be honest. You killed my mom. She kind of. You killed Tifa. My village. Let's just say I see where Sephiroth gets it from. <laughs> they were mine by right. Oh my God, the music. This planet too, for I have been chosen. <laughs> I believed in you. No, not you. Whoever the hell you are! Oh, shit. thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? <laughs> it was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? <laughs> uh, yes. I didn't say that. What I meant was, screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? That was kind of a bar. I'm not gonna lie. I'll give it to you, Aerith. But why come back now? Good night, Aldo. After five years doing who knows what. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. W Let's song. Just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Uh, oh no you don't <laughs> Sweet dreams He just put his fire tail on the bed That shit not gonna burn it down Hold on I see toes <laughs> Hey Eric You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? 
Aerith, I was unfamiliar with your this game. Sound crazy. My bad. As far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Oh, Tifa saying it. Tifa asking me if I'm up. I don't care what time it is. The answer is yes. Absolutely, under every circumstance, I am up. Whatever you need. <laughs> Call me, beat me, Sorry. if you want to reach me. Type. Thank you. No. Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Yes. Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Chad, y'all think she gonna press me? To my A, bruh. So, why the fuck was you lying? Oh, yeah, he tweaking. Oh, damn. Um. Uh, surely Sephiroth is just lying, right, guys? Damn, she's so bad. Oh, my God. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Oh? Shooter gotta shoot, shoot, my boy. Pull up. That night, five years ago, at the reactor. Oh. I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? Ooh. For five years. So Cloud was no, in Nibelheim, but he was too pussy to talk to anybody. Of course you can't. So he was too pussy to talk to Tifa uh, in OG. Sorry, I just need some space. Dang. Man, I'm sorry. I just, I love this cast so much, man. Like one of the best cast in JRPGs. I love everyone. Glad I played uh, Crisis I Core. Yeah. Crisis Core is a must play. Nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Can 
guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he was embarrassed because when he was, uh, before he left, he was like, Ayo, Tifa, dead ass, I'm about to go join Soldier, and I'm going to become Soldier First Class, and I'm going to come back and stun on all these hoes. And then I'm going to buy you a crib, I'm going to buy your mom a crib, you feel me? And then we're going to get married and have all sorts of babies. But then by the time he went back to Nibelheim type shit, he really won shit. <laughs> he was just some lowly bitch, and he was like, well, I can't turn up on my bad bitch that I used to stun on back in the day and pull up in this Toyota when I told her I was gonna have a Maybach, you know? <laughs> you two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Yeah, that's, that's word for word dialogue, by the way. <laughs> Night. Tomorrow is another day. Indeed it is. Chapter two, a new journey begins. The inn at calm the next morning. All right, good night, Rain. I'll see you tomorrow for uh, the next Final Fantasy stream. If you're here. All right. I might do chapter two and then end off there. Let me click save. I still got to make sure I get this video uploaded and stuff in time for noon. Let's see. Is there anything else in this room? Nope. So if you, if you did the demo, did you just pick up right after the demo left off? Like, did you get that opening sequence and then it just skips to after the demo? What's this? Ooh, a pouch. A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Alright, you can now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players denoted by the icon around the world and challenge them to matches. Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. Defeating players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns. You can also build and edit decks by selecting card decks from the main menu. Okay, they got a whole card game? Should I learn how to do this? Each player takes a turn playing a card on the board in one of three lanes that span from left to right. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power. While this positions a card, while the positions of a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. Okay. Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Okay. When one of your card's position's tiles overlaps with the position you control, the position rises in rank. As there are two pawns on that tile now, that position is rank 2. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of thingies in the top left corner of the card. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you will have to raise the rank of your positions. Okay. As you now have uh, a rank two position, try placing your rank two card on it.
When one of your card positions overlaps with your opponent's, you can claim that position as yours. Note, however, that claiming a position will not raise its rank. Okay. You can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the point totals on the side of the board. The numbers on the left represent your power, the ones on the right represent your opponents. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are the tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power and more lanes than your opponent. In the event you cannot place a card, you can pass with triangle. When both players pass consecutively, the game will end. All right. This is interesting. This song is really fire. Alright, the fuck is this? Raises the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. Dang, I can't play this shit nowhere. What does this do? Raise the power... Okay, so I should play this here, I think. All right, card has no abilities. To do that. He places there, so he wins bottom lane. But I'm pretty sure I win the other two lanes pretty free. Oh, this is kind of fire. I like this. So then I win. Once the game is over, each player's score will be tabulated. Only the player with the higher power in a lane has their power added to their score. In other words, no matter how high your power in a lane may be, if it is less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not be counted towards your score. After calculating the winner for each lane and adding their scores up, the player with the higher total score wins. I mean, you could just say if you win two out of three lanes, you win. How do you feel about changing the weapon Cloud uses? It's, whole, it's so hard for me to want to switch from the Buster Sword. I agree. Like, I think the Buster Sword always looks better than any of the other swords. But I like the other swords abilities and stuff, so it's kind of like, dang. All right, that was cool. I don't know how often I'll be playing that, but that was fun. Good morning, sir. Make it a mobile game, Square Enix. For not introducing myself to you earlier. Hey, Broden. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Even if you win two out of three, if they got 15 points in one lane, they can still win. That's fair. <clears throat> Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud. That was just in 16. On you? Uh, Toxico. Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. The fuck is a folio? What the fuck is a kilometer? All right. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? Oh, what a good boy! A chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Hooray! Red 13 has joined the pro I can't wait to play as him. Oh, uh, if you 
you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Red or Koromaru? See, why would you even do that? Hmm. The Rook's got a backbone. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So you're actually getting rewarded for doing side quests in this game. If they're going to put that much emphasis on side quests, I hope the side quests are actually decent. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Thanks. There's plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Adjust your weapon skills via the upgrade menus in the main menu. Or upgrade weapons in the main menu, rather. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills. As well as stat boosts, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Okay, upgrading weapons. Uh, this should be pretty self-explanatory. What I tell you, that girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her. All right. Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels. But should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Oh, I love when games do stuff like that. This has three material slots. Okay, so this gives you a lot of defense and magic, it looks like. You have a bone bracelet, smooth bracelet made available. Okay, so this just gives you defense and magic again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have anything to sell you? Nah, I'm broke. Oh, I should be Take good. Care of that weapon now. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability, which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this weapon repeatedly or meeting its proficiency uh, bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out this proficiency to use said ability even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. Ah, nice. Okay. No cage. Um, I just got a notification. Sorry about that. Manual balance, prioritize attack or prioritize defense. Um, can you not fucking change anything about this? Maybe I should have done the tutorial. Oh, upgrade weapons is right here. Ah, gah, 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 gah. I was trolling you, chat. Fucking dumbass. Did you get you baited? Um, what? The fuck do I upgrade shit? You can transmog in this game? I think it's more so you can just use the abilities on whatever weapon you want, so that way you can use whatever weapon you want. Unallocated SP for use in folios. How the, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Oh, true. Weapon ability damage plus 5% or max HP. Give me that. Okay, so I can do this with everybody? Makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. I'll just give him HP. Uh, for Tifa, increases the duration of unbridled strength. Increases the attack power while unbridled strength is active. With the 5% boost at chi level 1 and 10. Oh, that's gat. Wait. Hold on, Tifa might be kind of crazy. Wait a minute, I'm getting horny. Wind damage up 10%, increases fleeting familiar duration by 25%. Uh, restores HP when activating vengeance mode, increases counter spin potency. Uh, I'm not really sure which would be better there. But we'll rock out with that. Um... Okay, we already have all of our summon materia ad added. Okay, so for Tifa, we all have all of our materia equipped. 
Okay, let's let's bounce. Let's bounce. Let's bounce. Let's bounce. Yeah, the menu looks really good. It it kind of feels like it's got. Yeah, I, I yeah, I really like this. I think this is nice. And of course, there's a photo mode. But I will not inundate you guys with that. When I was uploading the Spider-Man stuff to uh to YouTube, somebody was like, "Man, can you edit out the photo mode stuff?" And I was like, "Um." Um, right. I'm sorry. I I apologize. Yeah, I don't think the photo mode is too good in FF7, so I probably won't use it a lot. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Aw. Sure, let's. Sure, let's. For real? Awesome. Wow, you actually got like little social link things. Idea. I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Oh, wow. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards Cloud. Oh, that can alter portions of the story. Interesting. Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points or SP at Magnata Books. Uh, auto match to augment your party's folios, then unlocking, uh, thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Okay. The orange skill cores can be unlocked by spending skill points. Move the cursor to see what it does. Oh. So you get one with Aerith here. You have mastered a new synergy ability. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when, adapting a character's strengths to suit your playstyle. And that's okay. about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Oh, okay. Back for more. What was this one? Ranged blade. Nice. Okay. Barrett and Red hone their focus. Three charge ATB gauge. Oh, for five SP, you get a three charge ATB gauge. That sounds crazy. You take a strong defensive stance. Uh, we can do the ATB gauge one, I think. I like that. I like the way that one sounds. That sounds really, f this looks really fucking good, actually. Okay, Cloud and Tifa leap into the air to deliver a spinning attack. Affect temporary unlimited MP. Hey, yo. Team up with a partner to perform a jumping attack. And you get it with mo uh, I think the unlimited MP sounds like absolutely insane. I'll take that. I might be playing as Tifa a lot too. Cause I was doing a replay through of remake before this game came out, and I really liked the way Tifa uh played. Ask your partner to defend you while you move about the field. Uh deal damage across a wide area. I'll take that. Okay, red 13. Limit level increase. Okay, this gives you limit level gauge. Team up with your partner to charge forward while guarding against incoming attacks. We'll get this. Yeah, this sounds crazy. Oh, I'm locked in. I really like this. See you around. This is where it all began. The first Magnata books. All right, so now we got to go on a date with uh, with Aerith. Um, thank God. <gasps> oh, she's mad at me. Morning. 
Hey. Morning. I'll Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I will ditch Aerith right now. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Say the word. Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Do you want to hang out? This is such a quiet, peaceful town. Damn it. I guess we have to do Aerith. Okay, where the fuck do I go? I guess I keep going this way. You don't like Look me, Barrett? You up already? Drinking already? Oh. <laughs> no, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. Huh. First one's on me. First one's on me, okay? And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah! I to order some top no, I love game. this! This helps you feel like so much more connected to the cast. This is cool. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, chat. We're activated, man. You know why Rufus had to step up, don't you? Everyone's saying it's because his dad caught something. The man's on his deathbed. The Midgar news broadcast. Have a good night, Oralin. Oralin. My bad. Uh, wake up already. The president isn't sick. He was assassinated by Avalanche. Oh. According to your sources. Right. I wouldn't trust anything Walmart and Radio says. Harem playthrough. Unless Jesse is back from the dead, this will not be a harem playthrough. Tifa is the only one for me unless Jesse exists, in which case I will have to see both sides like Chanel. Cloud, over here. Because if Jesse lived, I'm never not wifing that up. Add Barrett in the harem? Oh, I'm down. Barrett is beautiful. Let's get started then, shall we? I don't know if they're going to want Cloud taking back shots, though. <laughs> first time chat message saying, huh? Um, hey, is this your first time here? I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Look at it, chat. It's so pretty full. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Um. Hmm? Yeah, that's my mama's. I'm so shocked. We're roommates, you know. Yeah, that's my baby girl. How'd you know that? Yeah, I claim her. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Wait, hold on. W wing woman? Uh-oh. Imagine if you had a job, right? And it was your job to try to capture a cloud and bear it. Me personally, I'm quitting. Uh... 
There you are. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. Oh, he's your bro! Den! They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Come on. Follow me. All right, boys. Lock in! Run away! You'll never catch me alive, thug. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back down. Oh. Hey, you. Thank you God they didn't look see. two feet to the left. I got an exam tomorrow. What am I doing? You're watching Peak Vision. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. Jordan Are you? Orange? Not exactly. Stop. Oh shit. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Alright, me first. <laughs> Loser. Bye, Aerith. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mentioned it, I think I might have. W liar? It was just my imagination. Or was it? Well, for the love of get out of here. Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. <laughs> a fugitive air about them? Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time. Ah, he kinda ate, he kinda ate, he kinda ate. W man's, W man's, W man's. Chat, could you outrun a helicopter? Be honest. Me personally, I'm through me. But that's just me. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. Well, search harder. We gotta find them. Good night, J-Bot. Looch. That went well. The W. Stay on your toes. All right. Let's move out. Someone said I look like Cloud Strife. What's your guys' thoughts on that? Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Hmm. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. The fuck? The fuck is that? It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Oh shit, yo, Square Enix, thank you for the $500,000 donation. They said, yo, Omega Pro, what's up? We're all big fans here at Square Enix. Thank you so much for playing our game. You're literally the best streamer that is streaming FF7 Rebirth right now. You're literally the GOAT. Uh, XQC is in our pack right now. Uh, hashtag pack watch. Uh, we're all Omega Pro believers. We can't wait to see what you do in the future. By the way, thank you for the voice lines you did for Cloud. 
Barrett, Tifa, Zach Fair, uh, Sephiroth, uh, Jesse, as well as uh, Aerith again. Uh, you are the greatest voice actor of all time, of all generation. Thank you so much for everything you do, and thank you for supporting our games. Uh, you're the best. And we would never have made Final Fantasy VII Rebirth without you in particular. So thank you for giving us the courage to finally make this series. Uh, everybody should sub to Omega Pro right now. Wow, thank you, Square Enix. That was you voicing Tifa, correct? All right, open up the transmuter menu. The currently transmutable items are listed here. Increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmuter chips will expand the range of items you can create. There are materials uh, and necessary amounts for the selected item. Here you can see the requirements for transmuting a potion. All right, cool. I like this. Nice. Omega did a great Genova. Thank you. I tried my best. Your work as Red 13 really moved me. I hear that a lot. Thank you. Oh, you made wow, it. Mommy. One piece? No, all in bleach. I don't like One Piece, but thank you. Sorry, we're late. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. Unhand me! Not in front of Tifa, bitch! Oh. Well, that was the last Fuck. one. Fuck! Until things calm down. Why would you say that shit? <laughs> Don't you got a man? Damn! Now, let's go. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Unhand me, wench! Fuck! Blowing up my goddamn spot! <laughs> Where's he now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Would let Barrett use me like an accordion. Man, this chat needs God, bro. I'm not gonna lie, JRPGs do bring out the worst of the chat. I'm not. <laughs> like, for some reason, we just become degenerates when there's a JRPG on the screen. Tifa, please murder me in my sleep. I'm literally begging. <laughs> Flashbang? Back shots. That texture popping was nasty. <laughs> Just look at it all. It's so green. Wow. Beautiful. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Wow, it's almost like it's a commentary on the way the Earth is now. Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. I love Barrett so much. Your left, your left, right. Dude, the music is so good. I love them all. They're all so I guess precious. Won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was. Man, why couldn't she the tear her ACL right there? Journey. You coming? I wanted her snapper Achilles yeah. type shit. Of course we are. 
right? Follow me. Who the fuck said that shit, by the way? That was really rude. Very misogynist. Right. Let's get this show on the road, people. He loves the mall. No, I actually don't mind Aerith. I just like joking about Aerith. All right, you can set a destination. Oh, we're open world now. Holy fuck. Put distance between you and calm. I guess we just go here. Okay, so my current party is Cloud, Red, and Aerith. I'm down to rock with that because I haven't played as Red yet, so I want to try him out. Uh, combat settings. Initiating combat mode. Let me set Red as the leader. We're going to try him out. Wow, this is gorgeous. Man, this feels crazy. Oh, here's an op. Red 13 can definitely take down enemies with his razor sharp, claw, sharp claws and fangs. Press square to swipe at foes or hold it down to unleash a whirling slash. Successfully guarding against attacks feel, fills the vengeance gate. gauge. Oh my god! Which can be consumed with triangle to enter vengeance mode, increasing Red 13's attack power and dodge speed. Vengeance mode can be activated at any time, but it will last longer according to how full the gauge is. Hold on, he's kind of the GOAT. Guard against attacks. Oh, nice. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, look, there's stuff here. Yoink, 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 yoink. Okay, we got transmutation materials, say that. Wow, this is really a rebirth for the franchise, so to speak. You may find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chests in a location to mark it on your map as complete. Yoink. Give me that. Obtained a high potion. I'm not high yet. Yo, y'all think Cloud would smoke weed? Yeah, I feel like Cloud will be going off the Zaza. Really, you too scared to jump down, Cloud? Are you dead ass? Oh, it tells you how much treasure is there, too. Nice. Man, I know Cloud was a pussy. No wonder he modeled his whole life after another man. Too scared to live life for himself. Is that too far? Was that rude? I want to fight more things. Your goat Titus would have broken his ankles for that jump. Your goat Titus would have faded into thin air in front of his girl. Wait, let me not go there. I see what this does. Did I just nuke? When in the throes of battle, the entity slumbering within an equipped summoning. Oh, this is about summons. Oh shit, they're still fighting in the back 
Like my, my team is still fighting in the back, even though they're not here. Okay, so for red 13, it looks like you have to, the main part of his kit, you have to guard in order to do things with. Oh, there's a card shop here. It's locked. Ah, fuck the card shop. Fuck the guard, nigga has a nuke. Uh, Are you sad? We be worried about those things? They're just deer. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're mm. attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. Damn, he kind of cooked us. Let me climb here. Chat, your dog doesn't come equipped with a nuke? Kind of weird. Ooh. I can't open these. Chat, may I be explicit in nature? I think one of the most annoying things the internet has ever come up with is skill issue. Like you'll dead ass be like, damn bro. Like I'm feeling really depressed today. Like I might kill myself. And then a motherfucker would be like, <laughs> skill issue. Bro, I have depression. What the fuck does that got to do with anything? It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. Sure. Buying sale items. A cushion. What the fuck is that? Allows you to use broken down rest stops? Why the fuck is that even a thing? And then we have a hunter's bangle. Uh, okay. Gives you a lot of defense and magic. Chat, what's stopping you from crashing out right now? Unleashing a wind magic attack without expending MP. Increases Punisher mode, strong attack damage by 3%. That seems pretty fucking good. My Lamo, aw. Thousand Year Blood War Season 3 FF7 Rebirth. Nice, the Batman Part 2. Batman, dun 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 dun. Unleash a fire attack without expending MP. Why is it showing, uh, why is it showing cloud there? Isn't this supposed to be red 13? Oh, it's a combination plate. Maybe I don't fucking know. Get this. Why did that make me laugh so hard? I fear I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll take the credit for it. Increases overcharge damage by 5%. Uses lightning magic. The Batman dunna na dunna. I got, 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 got. Yo, code. I got a code. I'm doing a giveaway. I'm going to piss on you. Mr. Kelly, 
No, 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 no. Here's the fucked up part, bro. R. Kelly, like, ruined, like, pissing on people, bro. Like, now I can't piss on somebody without being called that motherfucker. Like, that guy did a lot of other things other than pissing on people. You be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Thank you, Farmer. What a nice Farmer. Co-conspirator. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. So Lena letting you drown her? I'm not putting her business out there like that. But yes. Man, fuck using a cess. This thing is clearly weak to fire. Oh shit, he kind of built Diffy. Oh, this is for poison? Chat, get ready. Sidewinder. Vengeance mode. All right, chat, time to drop a nuke on this motherfucker's head. Yo, that shit is crazy. I want to play as Tifa though. What if I just put Aerith in the back burner? Like nobody cares about Aerith, bro. Um, Aerith, please leave the fucking party. Um, the fuck do I make her leave? Uh, change party. Oh, edit party. Ah, gah, 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 gah. Okay. Come here, mama. Good fucking girl. Want a Scooby snack? I, I, it needs, I need to end stream, man. Okay. Um. Let's set Mama as the leader. Uh, how the fuck do I do that? Oh, triangle. W me. I see her still slandering that one girl. No, I'm not. It was an accident. Like, I would not slander Aerith. Like, Aerith is like my goat, my queen. Like, I would not. Like, so. Like, oh my God, we love Aerith. Like. Right. Um, there's Tifa. What does she have here? She has chakra materia, ice materia. When I want to kick villagers from my island. Yes. Correct. Now you're getting it. Yo, random question. Y'all think Tifa piss on people? It's this guy. Thanks again for the right to calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Wow, the, his facial animations look really good. Afraid the old buttes pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You uh, know some place we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Why he got a whip on his like side? Oh wow! Just head straight that away toward the swampland. Say that. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. Yeah. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Oh wait, hey, y'all go on, y'all y'all go back to the farm. Me and Tifa gotta go check something out real fast. Hey, shit. Or maybe me and Barrett. Fuck, who knows? Let me get a little freaky, chat. May I be explicit in nature? Backtracks. <laughs> May I be explicit in nature? Backshots. Wow, that's really crazy. We really got an open world. Like, that's really crazy. We really got an open world. Like, that's really crazy. We really got an open world. Like, that's really crazy. We really got an open world. Like, that's really crazy. We really got an open world. Like, Unbridled strength. I did not want to attack that thing. Um, that hurt, bully. Um. Unbridled strength. Don't think you'll walk away from this. Why is they focusing me? Stop being racist. Finish him off. Let's keep it up. W. Yo, exposed mango. Thank you for the 40 months, gang. How you doing, brother? I appreciate that. I'm chilling, enjoying the best game ever made. Hey, shit, what you up to, babe? Who the fuck saw me? Oh, bet. Say that. Come here, boy. Beat these fucking dogs up. Synergy abilities. Unbridled strength. Come on. Man, I look just like Tifa. Like, holy. Correct me if I'm cracked, but you won't be streaming this weekend, right? I will not. So I'm playing as much as I can tonight, and then I'll be live all day tomorrow. And then uh, I will be gone for the weekend. Um... Oh, inventory maybe? I go here. Okay. Back shots. So you guys got until the weekend to get ahead of me because you already know once it comes down to Monday, I am no lifing this game. I don't know how long this game is, but uh, I'm probably gonna just beat it next week. We will probably rip through this game. And then I can start Yakuza, hooray! Who's excited for Yakuza? Can I get a 3,465,327,248 in chat? I hope it's longer than my will to live. Oh, right. Um, that's not the number I asked for, but thanks. I hope this game is more than 100 hours long. Um, I don't. I hope it has like over 100 hours of content to do, but I hope it doesn't force you to do that. Ah, finally. What are you doing in my swamp? Y'all wouldn't get it. That's just real ogre talk. A sleek saber? What the fuck? Who's that for? It's like it's for me. Wait a minute. Ooh. Imbue your sword with fire and lightning while slicing a foe? What? That sounds really fucking cool. Yes, I think I will equip that.
Um, upgrade weapons. Okay. Increases ATB recharge rate when performing actions. Increases the number of consecutive slashes with strong attacks and punisher mode. I heard the plat takes 160 to 200 hours. Yeah, good thing I never platinum games. That sounds fucking boring. But I guess it's good to strive for if that's the type of shit you like. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? Not him licking his face. I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <sighs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. That's bars. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> wow, y'all can read, like... <laughs> well... Oh, good shit. Don't be reading, don't be reading. Can we rent some birds? Can we? Oh, my God. That right there was Coomer Bay, I fear. <laughs> Having the bad bitches come up to you like, Please, Daddy Cloud, can we rent some birdies? Please. And I fear I'm a Coomer, and it worked on me. Jesus Christ, I have fumbled. And dear God, as Lord is my witness, I'm a slut. I admit it. <laughs> I'll buy you any fucking bird you want. Al Kwan. Pussy. That was a W combo. My turn. Whoa, this sword is cool. Fire bolt blade. Wow! What the? This is the best game I've ever played in my miserable fucking life. What the? You're dead. It's on now. Oh! Take the list. No time to waste. Yo, okay, that was really fucking badass. That was really fucking badass. Man, they increased the combo game a lot from FF7 Remake. That's pretty cool. Does your save in FF7 Remake carry over? Uh, I mean, you can detect your save data. But it's not like you have any choices or anything that carry over. I don't think any of your equipment like would carry over or anything. So I don't think it's that big a deal. Man, this game, the texture popping, really low resolution. I know I'm being a little bit of a nerd here, but Jesus Christ, it's crazy. They're nothing. Yeah, Tifa is so fun to play. Woohoo! I, I like playing as Tifa a lot. All right, we're in the Choki Boki Ranch. Bill, you got here quite fast, bruh.
Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Ram Ranch? Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Nice. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you Yo, Barry looks right so place. good in this game. Like, oh my gosh. Back in the day, we had Republic fairies to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Um, right. Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing. To a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Bill and Billy, huh? All right. Very creative names. I get it. Speaking of motorboats, what are you trying to say, boy? Howdy. Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops. But yeah. you're out of luck. Pops. <laughs> Dude, not Pops. Words. Last one went this morning. That's how I feel when y'all be calling me Grandpa. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Oh. <laughs> The thing is, we don't have that kind of money, or any, really. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm not broke. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll Cloud ever better than me, because I'm turning this bitch into Nibelheim part two if this nigga don't give me a damn bird. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people, but if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you Fuck. whatever you need. I really wanted to finish chapter two, but I do really have to end soon. A born businessman. <laughs> that way I can make sure I get this video uploaded for the morning time. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. All right, I see a chest. Wait a minute. Is this mine for the taking? Give me that. Obtained a timeless rod. I'm finna give y'all my timeless rod, chat. <laughs> take shit, <laughs> take shit, ah, 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 take shit. All right, what is this? Timeless rod has more material slots. Wow, this is just way better. Ability Chrono Aegis. Strike an enemy and inflict stop. What the fuck? Yo, what? That sounds crazy as hell. Upgrade weapons. Yes. Fire damage up. Increases war duration. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. He's trying to get that bag. I get it. I suppose, but... He's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Oh. So Parent trauma? I've been there. Guys from Midgard? How'd you know that? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? I wonder um, if I got a stench about me. Well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? 
probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. Oh. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Right. Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. Yeah, kind of... help. She kind of trauma dumping. anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Me personally, Take I'm a yapper. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them. Not you telling that little here. girl's business. So I'm a. What can I say? I like the tea. What can I say? I love to gossip. Am I a bad guy for that? I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Yes. I think you guys would call me a bad guy no matter what I said or did. Because you guys are L men's. I have seen Cloud scale an entire building in two jumps max. Are you telling me he can't clear this fucking fence? What's that animal? You got, are you talking about the chocobo or are you talking about the little doggy? This is a doggy. His name is Red 13. He was a science, a science experiment. Isn't he cute? He's missing an eye. The fuck is over here? Um, right. No cage. Let me see that. Ooh, what's in here? Um, we've got cushions. And this time I played FF7 remake, I always got whatever was on sale. Like look at look at we ball. A hundred beans? Like that's literally nothing. What's a hundred beans to a gamer like me, Taishi? Chat, I don't want to alarm anybody, but I'm getting horny. Tracing the tracks. Are the sales random? Uh, I actually don't know. Good question. Yo, it's getting really hot in my room. I'm about to wolf out. Bingo. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Well, I meant in the other game. Yeah, I have no idea. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Speak yeah. for yourself. My bad. Wrangling a chocobo. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you are in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing the stones you pick up. L1 to aim and square to throw. Shh. Shh. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, chat. Fucking dumbass bird, bitch. What a fucking idiot bird. What a dumbass bird. Um, can you look behind you, buddy? Oh, this remix is fine. Behind you, that's a big fucking rock. I could have killed that thing. Remember when you told me I look like a chocobo? What? I don't recall this.
Hooray! What's stopping me from just stealing this for myself? Aw, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> what is this song going on right now? Totally. What? <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. Bad ass bird. He just like me. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <laughs> oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Yeah, that was. <laughs> this is quite the song to have here, I fear. <laughs> Chaz, is this what you twerk to? Be for real. Thank you to shit, bitch. You're not even a fart. I be going hard. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home. Yeah, I don't necessarily love that song. so much as a feather out of place got one healthy bird here enough to ride yo y'all think chocobo sure. tastes good though i wouldn't try till he's done eating i'm not gonna lie Once probably spell, though, i'm sure he'll come around they the probably idea. taste delicious nice. ain't that right i'll need to prep his gear and all that so why don't you wait outside hey, huh oh this little kid hey what a pleasant surprise. Oh, shit. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah. I knew you would. What if I said no? It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Loki, I uh, was kind of thinking I that. I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes. Though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. Some what? They were originally constructed oh, yeah. by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after yeah, the Yeah, now we're getting Since to the open world gameplay. And untouched. Just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, yeah. the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. Okay. And this will activate it. Obtain the Chad module? The towers close by, allow me to hey, Chad, why does the module look like me? <laughs> uh, Ubisoft will pay for their crimes for sure. Here we are. Okay, let's open this up. 
Damn, I've been shooting for 10 hours. Holy. It looks like a Theragun. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. Oh, it gives you party All XP too. Locations of fiends and natural resources. Ah, that makes sense. Oh shit! What the hell? After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Chadley will now employ the data you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the Remna Wave Towers you encounter and help Chadley deepen your understanding of this world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Uh, not really. No. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Fire and ice materia use fire and blizzard. Okay. Auto cast allows an ally to automatically use spells with the link materia when not actively controlled during battle. Oh, that is pretty fucking good. You got morph auto unique ability allows an ally to automatically use unique. Ab oh, this is really fucking good. Oh, I have seven auto cast materials already. Look at this. The auto cast material seems really fucking good. You can have like a party member that's not in your active party member be like a, a heal slut pretty much. I wish you all Wait, that's pretty fucking gas. What the hell? You. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Oh my God, you have a Roomba? Oh, I gotta try to fight this. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands in virtual space. I gotta try to fight this thing. Am I gonna get my ass beat? Probably. Summoned entity. What's so morph? You like transform materia. an enemy into something. Use combat stimulator. Oh, the Apple Vision Pro. I am tweaking me boy. Sponge boy me Bob. Okay. If an entity is proving too difficult, you can gain an advantage in battle by analyzing its corresponding summon crystals found around the world. Oh, I, you don't even have to play with Cloud. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't, honestly, I think a better comp might be Cloud, Barret, and Aerith, but fuck it, we're gonna rock out with this. Hey, it's the guy from FF16. Oh, I only have fire. Okay, he did not care about that whatsoever. Wow, the tracking on that is nuts. Oh, I don't have cure. Um, wait, I do, I lied. Wow, the tracking was crazy on that. Fucking Elden Ring ass tracking. 
fight's not over. Mind taking over. You ready? I got this. I'm um, bye, Tifa. I love you. Gotta be careful. All good. Um, I haven't even heard him yet, so that's kind of cool. Deal with that. Need to find me. Oh fuck. Oh, he heals off of that. Holy fuck! I'm coming. Dang, he almost had. I almost fucking cracked this shit. Wait a minute. You're being a bad boy. Um, why are you not staggered? Let's do this. Any last words? So, um, so long. I did no fucking damage whatsoever. Um, right. Right, 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 right. Um, right, right, right. Uh, okay, I... F um, why the fuck would you tell me about him if I can't fucking hurt him? Right. Um, I fear we not ready. Yeah. Yeah, you might... Hold on, this is level synced, it says. He's supposed to be synced to my level. Uh, um. Perhaps you're having an off day. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's. You know what? I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. That you're Somebody right, actually. Yeah, I'm just just an off day for me. <clears throat> Let me go get my fucking bird. That didn't look synced. I would happen to agree with you, boy. Um, can I talk to the love of my life, please? No, I guess not. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Hooray! So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why <sighs> don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Hello. For a one stop shop for all your chocobo needs. Wait, is there something I'm supposed to buy off of this person? Uh, headgear. Okay, what the fuck does this do? Does this just change the look of them? Thank you for stopping by. Let's ride a chokey bokey. Yeah, it is getting incredibly hot in my room right now. Google Photos is sending me memories of my ex-girlfriend. Fuck it, text her. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big Oh my god, gold community. saucer mentioned. I'm we'll activated. Around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? All right. Hey, Pico. Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Participate in Hustle the Chocobo?
Wah, wah, wah. Chad, I'm zooming. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If I never had to talk to any of my exes ever again, I would not lose any sleep. I'm literally the GOAT, like literally the best. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. I literally held I forward the whole time. What it takes to win a race or two at the gold saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Um, then you might want to swing by calm again. Now, I don't think we can do that. Out, oh, wait, we can? Safe for you to ask around for work. Oh, we can go back to calm. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Um, no. I actually did not help people out in Sector 5. Okay. We got odd jobs, community notices. Oh, man. See, me personally, I am down to just continue with the main story. I don't really give a shit, but... Oh man, if this game has like a oh, expansive side quest thing, maybe I'm not gonna beat this okay. game as, as quick as I thought. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I really wanted to play Yakuza, but as I don't know, man. Myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Just use Mom the Snapchat to filter. For us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud, thoughts? What happened to your parents? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. Aww. I'd wear mine for dates. We'll take the, oh, I should've asked about Sam. Will? I didn't Flowers see that. on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh my God, that is 2000 meters away. I want to finish this and then I'll probably end um, because I want to start the next episode with moving on to the main story. All right, let me see red. Look at red. What? Look at red 13 on the chocobo. Nah. What? I can't. Is there not a free cam? That's really whack that there's no free cam. Look at this. <laughs> I wonder what chocobo fried would taste like, bro. Me too. Me. There's a scent in a scour. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, chocobos are so cool. <laughs> Chat, can I get a chocobo? What the fuck? Area of interest discovered. Alert. 
What? Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> My sensors are picking up some Who the fuck is this? It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck! The fiends that Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials in the combat simulator. You cannot flee from Dangerous these battles. Fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. It may look like nothing more than a Ow. Uh, I fear I'm not hurting them very much. Can't tell me this is the best game ever made. This ends here. The fireball blade thing is so fucking gas. And that's just how we do it, boys. And that's just how we do it, boys. And we got all three staggered, quick nap, defeat all enemies within the time limit. And that's just that's just the type of prolific gamer I am at the end of the day. All right, we got to climb this shit now. Follow me. It's really dope how much they've improved the combat in this game. Where's my Chokey Bokey? Come here, boy. Wait, am I still weak? Am, 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 am I leaking? Yes, I'm very hurt, actually. Uh, who wants to cure my ass? Aerith, make yourself useful. Right. How the fuck do you not have cure? Um, I'll make myself useful. How about that? Good job, everybody. We're looking good. Uh, someone said I look like a chocobo. What the fuck? A little rude, buddy. All right, let's go. Move out. Um. Okay. And why is this camera so far up this chocobo's ass crack? Um. What? Um, dismount? I kind of want a snack, but I just, but you brush your teeth. Um, well, that sucks. Okay. Oh, is this in calm? View objective on the map. Oh my God, I'm trying to like zoom. Oh my fucking God. Hey, bruh. Hey, bruh. Fuck that bitch. I am moving on to the main story next time on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. 
That bitch's parents can fucking die. I do not care. You got me fucked up. Holy shit. Y'all seen how far that was? I honestly wouldn't mind doing it, but it's already really fucking late. This video is already three and a half hours. I thought you were a side mission, Andy. Um, no, actually, I'm quite the opposite. And it's really hot in my room, honestly. So I'm going to end off right there. That is it for the first episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, keep it on the lookout. It's going to be just like Persona 3 uh, Reload, where there will be new episodes pretty much every single day. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in episode two. Chat, what if I blew up my house? I need to open my window. Holy fuck, it is hot as a bitch. chat i think i'm about to dip out though get this video uploaded try to catch some z's and do my goddamn thing take shit anyways man thank you guys for chilling for tonight hope you guys enjoyed ff7 rebirth i had a very good time playing ff7 rebirth hope you had a good time watching ff7 rebirth drake's in the chat um so with that being said, I will raid, I will raid uh, my homie Re, who is doing a Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough right now. So if you guys want to go watch some Baldur's Gates, then uh, go have fun with that. Anyways, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. We're going to be playing Rebirth all day long. My mom's coming over tomorrow, and then pretty much as soon as she leaves, I'm going live, uh, and we're playing FF7 all day. Okay, have a good night, everybody. Goodbye. And uh, yeah, man, I have nothing else to say. Oh, I didn't start the raid. This is actually awkward. Um, I'm in your walls. I'm in your head. I'm in your bed. And uh, if I was Ant-Man, I would minimize myself, climb inside your dick hole, and rip your cock off. Take shit. Anyways, you guys have a good time. Enjoy Restream. I will see you tomorrow. And, of course, the video will be up at noon. But if I'm assuming if you're here, you probably don't need to watch it anyways. Um, bye.